Hey, this is John. This is my review for the Comica CVM V30 Pro microphone. This is not an unboxing video. I'm not a sound engineer. This is just how I use the microphone. I have voice recordings from my little studio from outside and at various distances from the microphone. More after the intro. In this video I use a mic both indoors and outdoors. I have it mounted on a camera tripod and I have it mounted on a small portable tripod while walking around outside. I also have examples of audio from various distances from the microphone and then I'll give you my thoughts at the end of the video about this mic. The mic has a quarter inch thread for mounting to your cold shoe on your camera. It has a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack with an elbow type connector. It uses two AAA batteries. The manual indicates a possible battery life of about 200 hours. I'm not sure about that. We'll have to see how that works out. There is no auto cutoff, so you need to remember to turn it on and off after each use. On the back are two switches, one for on and off, plus a 10 decibel gain setting. The second switch is the low cut filter. The manual indicates this switch setting for the low cut filter will filter background frequencies lower than 80 Hz, such as unwanted noise from wind traffic, etc. I viewed several videos prior to selecting this microphone. One of the videos said the mic was missing high-end features. Well, it is because it's not a high-end mic, it's a budget mic. Another video said the ideal working distance was about 18 inches as far as sound quality. That it was not very good from 2 to 3 feet away. I found it worked well for me from 18 inches up to about 6 feet away, both in an indoor and outdoor settings. Next part of the video has my test of the mic both indoors and outdoors from several distances and using the optional switch settings on the back. These are the uh, indoor studio tests. Hey, this is John. This is the test of the Kamaka mic inside my small studio. I have the camera and mic mounted on a tripod and I'm approximately three, three and a half feet away from the microphone itself. Doing a test on the normal mode with the switching on the back and just normal positions. This is plus 10 decibel switch on the back of the Comica mic. Again I'm just sitting in my small studio talking normally three or so feet away from the microphone and camera. I am now going to switch over to the low cut filter mode. Alright I'm back. This is the test of the Comica mic with the low cut filter on and the plus 10 decibel switch in the on position. Testing one two three, testing one two three. And I'm back. This is now a test with the low cut filter on and the plus ten decibel switch off or in the normal position on the back of the microphone. Again, just sitting in uh, my studio doing the microphone test. Test one two three, test one two three. These are the outdoor uh, audio tests. We're outside testing the mic. We're going to test it on several settings at several distances from the mic. Okay, test one. We're on the standard setting on the back, just the on position, no filter. This is the Comica CV30 Pro mic. Test, 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 test. This is the Comica 
V30 Pro microphone with the 10 decibel gain setting on. Test, test, test. Alright, this is with the low cut filter on and the 10 decibel gain and I'm about three feet away from the microphone. We're now going to turn just to the on position. This is with the low cut filter on and the button on the on position. We're about three feet from the camera. Uh, test, test, test. Alright, I'm now about six feet away from the microphone, still talking in a normal voice. And this is the mic with just the on position. We're still at six feet away. This is with the 10 decibel gain switch in the on position. We're testing the mic outside. Test, test, test. We now have the filter on. The ambient noise filter is on and the mic is in the 10 decibel gain position. Now I'm still about six feet away. Test, test, test. And I'm still at six feet away. We have the ambient noise filter on and the mic is in the normal position without 10 decibel gain. Test, test, test. Got a little bit of background noise now. I did not do any tests with the wind muff on, but here is the picture of the wind muff installed on the mic. Some other videos indicated the muff was hard to install. I had no issues putting it on at all. I just followed the instructions that are in the manual. So what are my final thoughts about this mic? I find that it works well for me in the typical ways that I plan to use it. I can distinguish the sound quality at the various switch modes that are available on the back. For the budget cost of this mic, I think it's well worth the $54 I paid for it. So please subscribe if you like the video. Let me know your comments. I'll try to answer any questions. Check out my other links below. And thanks for watching. Microphone is actually on this time. All right.